dip being only about three feet. So we've had to place low water markers at various spots along the creek. You'll see more of those later. All the wildlife that we have on the street is totally we, wild. We have a, a huge collection of turtles. There's one Homo right there. The yellow belly slider Spring. sunning himself. We'll talk a little more about them in a little bit. We see water moccasins, banded water snakes, red rat snakes, yellow rat snakes, water moccasins, eastern diamondbacks. We've seen foxes. We've seen many river otter here, particularly in the winter months. We've seen white-tailed deer. Spotted a small little baby black bear swimming across the creek a couple of years ago. There are about 34 different species of fish in the water below us. Several different types of birds, including birds of prey, and of course alligators. We estimate there are probably four or five alligators that live here. We do see them all from time to time. Turtle right there on the right. So object in the water up ahead is our first low water marker. It's not real, it's a plastic duck we placed there to identify low water area. If you guys look carefully off the left side of the boat, you'll see some depressions in the water that have been cleared of vegetation. Those depressions are actually fish nests where the fish have laid eggs. And the male stays behind to act as a guard. The water is a little murky today, so they're a little hard to see. They pick their shallow water spots. This palm tree on the right hand side is the sable palm, also called the cabbage palm because the inside is actually edible up by the palm fronds. Mm -hmm. And they use that in a local dish called swamp salad or swamp cabbage. Mm -hmm. If you're visiting for the first time today, we have some some attractions going on, I'd like to mention. At 2.30, we'll be having a wildlife presentation. They'll be bringing various species of Florida wildlife to the present. Good-looking girls here. These are both females. The male is, is, is around there somewhere. He's a little bitty guy, and you better run from sight. Yeah. He's about to be killed. Dang. Yeah. 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 She's got a dragonfly or something there? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was alive a little while ago. It was twitching. Move, move. Go for it. That's what we saw. Yeah. Somewhere down here we had another one down below off to the left. I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was a little bit ahead here. What's it called again? Spider. Golden orb. What's that? Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, the color of this one is a little bit different. Yeah. Wow. This one looks a little more reddish than gold, but they're called a banana spider. Banana spider? This guy's a magnificent water bird. He will stand in the shallow water and wait for fish to swim up to him. He's a ferocious predator. By the way, we have a large osprey nest way over off to the left. We're going to talk a little bit about him when we get to the other side of this second island. I'm talking about this uh, blue heron right here. This guy has no problem whatsoever swallowing an 11 or 12 inch fish down that little neck. He swallows a baby owl.